Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows application how to filter records between two given dates from and to using date picker control and display the records in a data grid view control. And here we got the final output. I'm selecting the dates. I'm selecting January 2017, last year. And the date is 20. And two date is January 2018. I'm selecting the first. And here we got the employee records between these selected dates from and to. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new windows application, go to file, new project. And from the windows template, I am choosing windows forms application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is from to date validate click ok and here the windows application is successfully created let me expand this form 1 design page now in this form 1 design page I am adding two daytime picker controls and one label control to display the message open toolbox from all windows form folder I'm selecting date time picker double click that one and here we got the date time picker control copy and paste I have created two date picker controls let's add some labels to this date time label F4 the label one text I'm changing to from which is a from date copy and paste copy and paste F4 and this is to date now let's add the last label control to display the results F4 I'm deleting the text property from the label 3 that's it we have done the designing part now with the left or is a coding part when a user select the to date is lesser than from date I want to display the error message let's add the date picker 2 F4 notice in the date picker 2 properties the fourth option is events click that one in the action section the first option is a close up which is an event let's create the close up event for the date time picker 2 now let's write the coding part from date is equals to convert dot to date date time date picker 1 dot text date time another class to date is equals to convert dot to date time date time picker to dot text now here I'm adding a if condition if from date is less than equals to to date let's make it to date I'm adding the time span structure class TS is equals to to date dot I'm adding subtract method from date I want to display the selected number of days from and to int 
days is equals to convert dot to int 16 ps dot I am adding the days property after that I am adding label control label 3 which is for the results text is equals to the difference between days from and to or plus I am adding the days variable here. I am adding the color for the text green color label 3 dot font property is equals to new font the font type we have a different types of font styles Arial comma the size is 10 font size label 3 dot for color is equals to system dot drawing dot color dot green else part in else part if the from date is lesser than to date I want to display the error message just copy this whole part paste here the from date must be lesser than to date and I want to display this one in a red color that's it we have done the complete coding part to validate the date time picker let's check the results start and here we got the output the from and to dates I'm selecting the today's date is uh, September 20, Thursday, but I'm selecting the 19th September and I'm selecting the 20th September. See the difference between these two dates are one day. Suppose if I select the two date is lesser than from date, for example, I'm selecting the September 4th, which is a less than the September 19th. See? from date must be lesser than to date now my next step is I will add one data grid view control when a user selects the from and to dates I want to display the records between these two dates let's add a grid view control on this design page let me expand this form on design page Go to toolbox, I'm expanding the data folder, data grid view control. Now my aim is I want to display the records in this data grid view control from the selected dates from N2 now before writing the coding part let's open my SQL server database we'll check the table name the table name is the EMP join which contains three columns EMP ID employee name and employee join date now when I select the employee join dates I want to display the records based on the selection from N2 dates let's write the coding part notice here in the date picker the date format is the default one but in our SQL database table the date format is the year month and date so let's convert the date format in the date picker highlight the from date picker F4 in the date time picker properties the format which is a long 
let's choose a custom one once we select the custom notice the date format has been changed to month date and year but in SQL server the table the EMP join date contains the year month and date let's add that format again in the date time picker properties under behavior the fourth option custom format we add here yyy which is a year capital mm and small dt year month and date enter and notice here the format has been changed to year month and date let's change the date format to this date picker time also f4 format custom custom format year capital m small dd enter after we change of date format in the date time picker let's switch to the code behind let's add the namespaces here to connect the sql server using system dot data dot sql client using system dot configuration in windows application the system dot configuration namespace is not included in the project reference so we need to add the system dot configuration namespace in the references folder of the project open that one I'm expanding the references folder notice there is no any system dot configuration dll library let's add that right click the references add reference in the assemblies framework come to the bottom the system dot configuration dll library is here the version is 4.0 i'm selecting this checkbox click ok and notice the system dot configuration dll library is added under references folder in our project let me minimize this references folder now after that let's add the database to this server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name of sql server after adding the sql server name i'm selecting the database name sample db is my user database test connection is succeeded okay okay and here the sample db.dbo is added under data connections we need the data source of this sample db right click that one properties in the properties the connection string copy the data source open solution explorer app.config file open that one let's add the connection string in this app.config file inside this configuration i am adding connection strings add name is equals to my connection connection string i am pasting the data source here and the last one is a provider name which is a system dot data dot sql client after adding the connection string in the app.config file switch to the form one code behind come to bottom in the if condition string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes i am adding the connection string name my connection copy this one paste here dot connection string sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection 
I'm adding main connection object string SQL query is equals to now in this double quotes I'm adding the select statement select start from the table name is dbo.emp join copy this one paste here where the column name is emp join date emp join date between single quotes plus plus double quotes single quotes and single quotes double quotes double quotes single quotes double quotes plus plus now between this plus plus I am adding date time pick a one dot text and date time pick a two dot text property SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command and this SQL command takes two parameters the first parameter is the SQL query and the second parameter is the connection object which is the SQL con after that let's open the SQL connection open method data table dt is equals to new data table dt dot load method in this load method I am adding SQL com dot execute reader method data grid view one dot data source is equals to dt the final one let's close the connection string SQL con dot close method that's it we have done the complete coding part Let's check the results. Start. And here we got the final output. I'm selecting the dates. I'm selecting January 2017, the last year. And the date is 20. And two date is January 2018. I'm selecting the first and here we got the employee records between these selected dates from and to that's it